Alright, hey everybody, Mobile Reader here, and I've got a new little blog post about the Laboratory of Mayhem crossover. Is the Ralph starting game and uh, the next event to him? I mean, there's a, like a prissy here, it's a Clod Cat, and a uh, Jekyll Hyde, I think. Okay. I'm going to laboratory of mayhem cross take over. Uh, where bad science meets a twisted love story. Join the chaos as monster far corn searches for his bride. While dangerous experiments and eerie mysteries unfold in the world of mayhem. Your tomb brings some wild energy to this electrifying event. You're ready to unleash the madness. Hunter Ralph is back on the hunt, clocking in to trade his old nemesis the zombie Sam. The terrors of old man last Halloween at the Undead Legion. The zombie hunter is determined to bring an end to the chaos once and for all. Okay, supernatural investigator Claude has always been a skeptic. This missing ghost stories is told tales. But now, as he's haunted by very real spirits, he's faced the terrifying reality that the supernatural is more than just a myth. It's after him. I don't really know why I'm reading these, but. Mad Scientist Egghead is the brilliant and dangerously curious son of Frankenstein's creator. What? The <laughs> yacht? I'm not doing the math on this. His wild experiments, fueled by his scientific genius, often lead to chaos and destruction. Some teacher tinkers with electricity and formulas far beyond his control. Monster Bride Prissy is a devoted and romantic figure. Then he's the protective wife of Frankenstein's monster. But don't be fooled, she'll fiercely defend her husband and anyone who dares threaten their bond. And this twisted tale of love knows no bounds. I still don't really know what this means. Are they trying to say normal Frankenstein is a character in this? Frankenstein's creator? Like Frankenstein's monster's creator? Which would be. Frankenstein, or it's saying he's Frankenstein's brother or something like that. The, the math don't add up. All right, they are right here. Finally, Doctor Jekyll, a brilliant doctor turned slasher monster, after ingesting one of his own formulas, is back to his old unpredictable ways. Referencing his classic loony episodes, this tune brings a mix of intelligence and terrifying rage to take over. This lab hums with electricity and mad experiments run wild. Prepare for Halloween takeover like no other. I don't know that, I kind of doubt. Time to embrace the madness for where romance and danger are always just around the corner at the laboratory of mayhem. Oh, well, this goes to December? December? Okay. And five new tunes we just talked about. I thought there were more. I thought there's more going on in the blog post. Okay. A game takeover. I mean, it's already been in the game for like seriously a week at this point. Maybe a little less, but. Okay. <coughs> so we have event towers again. There's also a gadget event, gadget event coming. So I'm assuming she's a 3k then. Did elixirs on a web portal on random days, so yeah. As long as they can. Oh, there's a cosmic event during this, okay. I don't, they don't tend to do that. Oh, nice to have like extra towers and stuff to do on <laughs> the cosmic events. Kind of boring like it usually is. Although, zooming in here, this is like a 
three day gap between Jekyll and Prissy's event. Okay. So I don't really know how Jekyll fits in here, because we've got the BP Claude for the rest of the unlikely heroes. We talked about the Monstein team, which is what I'm assuming these two are for. So like, is he just here for fun? Is he like a new horror dude? Maybe they'll tell us. Right, Mad Scientist Egghead. Yeah, big Monster Attacker. Force are unlocking 100 pieces somehow. Sure, sure game. <laughs> that could be true, I have no idea. This is <coughs> some kind of campaign event. Yeah, see? Unlucky hero support. Brawl campaign. Interesting. Okay, so the Marine Brawl event's back. Hmm. I mean, sure, I don't know how that would, uh, interact with, uh, what's, this, what's the name? The safes? Well, I guess I thought they'd stop doing those because of safes. I mean, maybe they could just add safes as a permanent thing. Who knows? I only get the Brawl systems like a thousand years old, Charlie. Okay, so here's Dr. Jekyll. Legendary wild card. Okay. I say this setup like wild card wolf and like the wild card and then in the game sense. So he's a solo tune, is what you're saying. Okay, so he's a legendary. Thousand piece tune as I thought, and this is a daily episode one. So these these two aren't presumably. It doesn't really say. Yeah, kind of not specific actually. On one, two, three. So yeah, yeah. The enumeration. Sorry, I was gonna say. Hold on, maybe they weren't counting Ralph for some reason. Wait, Claude Gadget in on Interesting. I said, how long does the house work? The movie this year with LEG, which is I'm assuming a limited edition gadget, is like f four days. It was Claude event, and then half of Claude's event was the Cosmic event. I don't, I don't get what's going on here. And the Encore Passage, yeah, I expect it. You know, there's just a couple of trappings that are usual to the old takeover format. But, uh... I don't know. It seems... And I feel like they always do these Halloween invasions. I mean, they did it last year, I don't know. Invasion's a thing last year? The year before that, I should say. I don't remember when the wacky invasion was. Because that was the first. Regardless, they always like adding like five tunes around Halloween time, so like I get it. Uh but it does feel a little unnecessary, especially since we had a takeover like a month ago. But, you know, that's that's just me, that's me, your hand hands in the air. Alright, well I'm Wolverine, so uh, not really much else to say here. That's all folks.